All my life, I have been fascinated by how our every word and action is defined by our ego. Or, to be more precise, how much we are all defined by our emotional intelligence and maturity. It puzzled me so much that I have dedicated my whole life to overcoming my own ego through business and personal self-realization as a scientist, entrepreneur, author, and lecturer. As a result, I was rewarded with a unique knowledge. In 2017, I had an experience, a deep insight, an insight into our lives, their meaning, and our unique purpose. I tapped into the source of all knowledge, got to know all about us and our ego, and realized that I'm as important as ordinary radio. I'm simply spreading the news. And so, I'm not trying to impose my opinion and attitude. I'm just conveying the truth about the clarity I've come to know. And since then, I have not experienced suffering, stress, or anger. Only peace and a constant feeling of gratitude. But it wasn't always like that. After my young days, they were filled with the abusive family situation and poverty. I just wanted to understand myself and end the suffering imposed on me. Everything was a problem for me back then, and this suffering was a constant in my life until I realized that it was unnecessary. At one point in my life, I realized that the problem wasn't my family, lousy job, or poverty. Everything was fine with the reality in this metaverse called life. I started my beautiful path of awareness, unconsciously, instinctively. It just felt right. I have never read a book on mindfulness or had a conversation about ego in my life. After a long suffering and a lot of self-examination, I realized that my condition has nothing to do with the surroundings, but only and exclusively with me. I sold my own suffering, a sea of imposed emotions and fears, and fought with them step by step. It took a long time to resolve all imposed fears, attachments and beliefs to get to know myself and realize that I'm nobody and that I'm, I don't need to be somebody and that's why I can be anything. It took me a long time to discover my path. I didn't even think there was a path for me, that I could be destined for something, that I had a role to play. But I found it because I listened to myself It didn't live up to my ego. From that time on, I paid more attention to my intuition with a clear sense of purpose. And I followed it without question, even when it told me to do unreasonable things, like going into solitude or selling off all my companies and devoting myself to writing books and sharing knowledge. But it always led me on the right path. My awakening happened because I constantly asked questions, learned from them and tested them in real life. I did it during my studies, when I started the company and when I started the family. I realized suffering disappears when we stop being concerned with what we like and don't like, what we want and don't want. Desires and needs disappear. Expectations and attachments disappear. They're simply not needed anymore. And then we start to don't care about our own opinion, let alone someone else's, because we recognize that it's only our ego talking. In this series, I want to show you that we all have possibility to tap into the same source of knowledge and gain clarity. And that clarity will surely come if we silence our egos enough and mature emotionally. Goal of this series is to explain important matters related to meaning and purpose of life, our place in this school called universe, and how do we mature in it. Even more, I will give you an unbelievable tools that will allow you to apply them in your life to achieve excellence in your private and business life. Welcome to the series called Metaphysics. Let me ask you one question. What is for you the meaning and purpose of life? The question of meaning and purpose of life has existed since the beginning of time. It is so puzzling that endless volumes of books have been written on the question itself. But in clarity, the answer is simple because knowledge is always simple. The meaning of life is to get our experiences through self-realization. As such, it is collective in nature and destined for us, that is, our souls, who have an overwhelming need, but also a task 
to grow and to master new knowledge. We humans live in two worlds, the external one, everyday life on Earth, and the internal one, only ours, original and soulful. In the outside world, full of opinions and egos, we put on a mask to become what others expect from us. Inside, we are the real us, revealed of the burden of ego and fears, beautiful and endless. We have placed so much importance and emphasis on the external world that we have almost forgotten the internal world and our souls as if they don't exist. For a long time, there was a misconception that the Earth is the center of the universe. Breaking that misconception and belief caused enormous resistance and violence until we as a society accepted what became a common truth. Again, today there is a misconception that our external world is important and that he and our role in it is the center of everything. At least that's what our environment and ego try to convince us. Dispelling that misconception also causes a lot of resistance. This is the right time in history that we as a society comprehend truth that our internal world, our souls and their maturation is indeed center of universe. That we realize that everything in the universe is here to help us mature and is here for us, not against us. If we forget our souls, look to the outside world for answers and focus only on our ego fears, we will for sure only encounter suffering, not clarity. To become immune to the outside world's influence and comprehend it, we need to achieve emotional maturation through self-realization. Self-realization can be explained as a pyramid. At the bottom of the pyramid are basic human needs, such as physical and psychological security. It is logical. If we cannot fulfill our basic needs, such as food and water, or are physically threatened, our entire focus will instinctively be directed to our survival and not to the creation and our maturation. When basic needs are satisfied, we turn to the experiences from the outside world, the ones we see around us. Experiences such as riding a bicycle, first kiss, proving ourselves, material things, knowledge, traveling or starting a first business. After a person has comprehended external experiences and believed that he has life to indulge himself, in the middle of the pyramid he turns to internal experiences and embarks on a journey to overcome ego fears and the traumas that created them. We are called upon to overcome those ego fears with our emotional intelligence, our awareness, conscience and courage. If we successfully comprehend internal experiences, we transform from survivors to creators. Close to the peak of the pyramid lays creation, material and immaterial. This happens when a person has maturated enough to devote himself completely to the object of one creation, regardless of how he feels. The object of creation itself is completely relevant, whether we create art, companies, family or a computer code. What matters is only our dedication to creation itself and our motivation behind it. We are on the path of internal growth just by creating and not thinking about how we feel about creation itself. And we need to create and mature until we realize the true value of giving. At the top of the pyramid of self-realization is love. We find love when we find great personal value in sharing all experiences we have gained on the path of self-realization. When we comprehend the value of love, we can say that we are self-realized and on the way to find and fulfill our purpose in life. And the purpose of life is to share experiences that we have comprehended on our way of maturing, fulfilling the meaning of life. We fulfill the meaning of life when we gain experience and maturity enough to realize the value of love. And purpose of life is to actively share those experiences that brought us to love in the first place. Unlike the meaning of life, the purpose of life has an individual character and is meant for each and one of us individually. And how do we know what it is that we have to give and share? When we mature enough to realize the value of love, we will not have to ask ourselves what we have to give. That clarity we will definitely find on our path of maturation. Because we know that with sharing everything multiplies. 
And that knowledge will turn into a natural urge to share even more. Unresistible urge for sharing that comes from the clarity that old knowledge comes with an obligation to pass it on. And that clarity will be rewarded with true happiness and gratitude. Ego rat race for material things, glory and proving ourselves become meaningless. There is nothing mystical about it. We honestly and naturally realize true values in our lives. When we realize that love is the meaning of life and that everything in our lives serves so we could comprehend this experience, it becomes difficult to give importance to trivial things that only serves to satisfy our ego. At that moment, only question remains. How can I pass on my experience and knowledge to others? Just as a mother passes on her experience to a child, or a teacher to a student, or a doctor to a patient, then suffering will disappear, and we will comprehend clarity and return to simplicity. My name is Oran Salopek, and in the next episode, we will discuss internal experiences in more detail.